to the channel, y'all. Yeah, I want to share with y'all in this episode. I want to share with y'all this how brutal this fuel pump was on my Crown Vic. The stuff was cracking all up around it. I really see this car that's been sitting around in the yard. Like I told you guys before, it's just been sitting around, you know, chilling. Because I mostly drive SUVs. I don't really drive cars that much. But I like for them to keep them going. But um, sitting around in the yard, kind of um, like I uh, ate up my fuel pump. Look at this. I'll show you guys here. Y'all see this? Stuff ate up my <laughs> the gas just ate my fuel pump and my screener right up. Look at her. Years of just sitting around chilling. Look what happens. Just brittle. The gas line broke away. Well, you could just run another gas line. Ain't no big deal. But as you can see, it broke right away. Brittle. It kind of makes me want to change all the all the lines. If they brittle like that, you know, uh, I think I might just gonna change all of them. As you can see, the fuel pump is definitely even the ground wise broke, but it still wouldn't work. So as you can see, I can see the ground wire broke right here. I got to try to figure out a way to put that back together. I might just buy another assembly. See right here. Just broke away. That's the fuel pump. The show is gone. And what actually ate this fuel pump up is the screener. The screener wasn't catching the, the screener and the trash out of the gas. So I'm pretty sure it just got right in there and burned it up. See that? Couldn't do nothing but burn the fuel pump up like that. You know, wasn't gonna keep running along that way. <laughs> So, uh, it's an easy job, though. It's the process. Once you get this filler, this neck out right here, the fuel pump. I got a lot of dirt on this car because I think, actually, I got stuck with it. But once you take that little clamp off right there, the little pipe clamp you see right there, and pull the filler tank out of the fuel tank, the, the tank will drop right down once you remove the two scraps. That's basically all you got to do. You don't really have to take the tank from under the car too much. You can just drop the tank down, you know. Ain't much gas in it, no way. So, you know, you're going to put back $5 to $10 of fresh gas anyway. So, I'm going to have to buy a new screener and all that stuff. I'm tempted to do that. I bought a pump, just a pump. But I'm tempted to just uh, buy the... Uh, the whole assembly, because that thing, that ground wire broke right there. Unless you solder that thing back together. And that might be kind of hard to do. I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, try to figure out something. Some kind of way to fix it. Rest it. Just broke right away. You know, whatever. But, um, yeah, everything's old and brittle. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Even this part is... Wait, gas ate this up. Look at there. So, uh, cars get a certain age. I say it's best to just replace the fuel pump. Because that gas will eat up your screeners and stuff. And your fuel pump will burn right out. See? Once gas eat that up, you got trash going right up in your fuel pump. And once that trash clog up your fuel pump, it ain't going to work long. It'll burn the motor up in it. And pretty much you'll be inside the road. So anyway, I just want to share that with you guys, how gas can really eat up a fuel pump and it strain them right along with it. So anyway, until next time, you guys stay tuned for the next video. And I'm out of here. Peace.